Hello everyone, in today's quick learning bites, we'll be talking about the DI findings in important immunobullous disorders. When we talk about the intraepidermal group that is pemphigus, here we have the intraepidermal IgG deposition in a fishnet pattern. So whether you have pemphigus vulgaris, fallacious or paraneoplastic pemphigus, the DI findings will remain the same. That is a fishnet IgG intraepidermal. Now coming to the subepidermal group of disorders. In bullous pemphigoid, we get the linear IgG C3 deposition at the basement membrane zone. In the linear IgA disease, we get the linear IgA deposition at the dermoepidermal junction. And in dermatitis herpetiformis, we get a granular deposition of IgA. Please remember IgA granular at the basement membrane zone. So these are the important DIFs which you should be remembering.